Hi, awesome people. Welcome to our Pets Academic channel. Today, I'm talking about the topic, what is the weight of an average toy poodle? If you are new to our Pets Academic channel, please subscribe. You can also like and comment on our videos so that we can get to know you better. Consider reading the full in-depth blog post I have written on this topic. You can find it by going to the link in the description. So, let's dive in. Toy poodles are an intelligent and loyal breed of dog. Toy poodles have an easy-to-groom coat that can be curly or corded. They make wonderful family pets and enjoy being around people. Toy poodles are also known for their high energy and intelligence, making them ideal for learning tricks. The weight of an average toy poodle varies based on its age, genetics, and overall size. An adult toy poodle typically weighs around 4 to 6 pounds, but some can weigh up to 10 pounds or more. The weight of an average toy poodle. Toy poodles are a popular breed of small dogs, prized to their intelligence and playful nature. As toy sized dogs, they have an average weight range between 4 to 6 pounds. Some may weigh slightly more or less depending on their size and overall health. As with any other type of pet, it's important to make sure your toy poodle is at a healthy weight. If your pup weighs more or less than the average range, it's important to discuss this with your veterinarian to ensure that your pet remains in good health throughout its life. A nutrition-packed diet and plenty of exercises are essential for keeping your toy poodle at optimal weight. Your vet can provide you with specific feeding guidelines that are tailored to your pet's size and activity level. Just like any other breed, toy poodles need proper nutrition to lead a healthy life. How to tell if your toy poodle is overweight or underweight? A healthy toy poodle should have a defined waist when you look at them from above. To ensure your pet is an appropriate weight, feel along the sides of their ribs and spine. The bones should be easily felt but not visible. If they are too easy to see or feel, your pup may be underweight. Alternatively, if you can't feel the ribs, your pet may be overweight. In the full blog post I have written on my website, I have done hours of research and I have written much more details about the above topic and subtopics. The blog article is more than a thousand words, and I dive into each of the above topics, covering many more questions around them. Just click the link below, and you can read all about my research on this topic. See you inside the blog post, and let me know if you have any more questions in the comments below. Have a great day, and thank you for checking out PetsAcademic.com.